your users and welcome to Blender 3D Animators 7th Blender 3D Tutorial. Now, today what we're going to be doing in Blender, whoa, what we're going to be doing today in Blender is going over soft bodies in Blender and cloths. Um, give me a second. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to be going over soft bodies today in Blender. And cloth. So, why don't we get started. First, delete the default cube. And add a UV sphere. Default values are fine. Now add a plane. And size it up about three times the size that it originally was. So, S key, number pad 3, and enter. Go to your front view. Press the G key, the Z key, and drag it up about two units on the Z axis. Now go into edit mode and subdivide it one, two, three, four, five times. And go over to vertex groups, make sure you have all your vertices selected. Select new, weight of zero, assign. Get out of edit mode, go to your editing tab, physics tab, and since cloth is a uh, newer uh, addition to Blender, let's go with that. So, I'm going to go with a leather. I'm going to go with leather. And this plane is going to have the properties of leather. So, let's press Alt-A to animate it. And you can see our frame number as at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I was kind of rushing. This sphere has to be set to a collision. Now you can animate. Whoa. We totally have to free the cache. Now select bake. I apologize for that. It's starting to get late here on New Year's Eve and I'm kind of losing my mind but anyway let's um watch as our cloth bakes now something to let you guys know um, for the soft bodies it's very difficult to keep the soft body from um, I call it ripping where your collisions such as the spear um, pokes through your cloth and then it like peeks through and it stretches too far the soft bodies are like too flimsy. Um, I'll just explain how to do them, but I personally, they're not as experimental as they used to be, so I just use uh, cloth. As soon as they came out of it, I started using cloth, and I haven't looked back. So I recommend using cloth over soft bodies. Um, it depends. I mean, if somebody was using soft bodies, you know, since Blender came out or whatever, then go ahead and stick with your soft bodies. I'm not telling you to switch. But if you're starting new, I'd recommend going to the cloth. Alright, so it's finally, you know, baked up a little bit. So if we can press the escape key, and by using our arrow keys, um, if we, what the, if we press the right arrow key, we'll advance one frame at a time. So I'll keep pressing it, and we'll see what happens. And we can see our cloth kind of... Oh crap, I went one too far. I'm just going to try to bake that frame. So, hold on a second, it's going to bake frame. Oh, no it won't. But anyway, um, you can set that smooth in your object tabs. Set smooth. Whoa. Set smooth. Oh, I think I might have to... Now I have to kind of half rebake, so to take a bit longer to run through the animation. So you press Alt A, it'll animate it just a bit slower though because it has to remake everything to make it look smooth. But um, that's, that's your uh, cloth basically and um, I'll explain to you uh, how to modify your cloth in a second. Just let me sh finish this example of the cloth getting rippled and stuff. Alright, 
So anyway, there's an example. Um, what the heck was that noise? In? I don't know. Some noise in the background while I wasn't talking. Anyway, um, that's your claw. So if we go back into our tab here, we go to our claw tab. You can see the structure stiff structure stiffness, bend stiffness, spring damp, air damp, quality, mass, and gravity. Gravity is obvious. Mass is like the weight, obviously. Quality is quality, obviously. Um, structure, st structure, stiffness, tongue twister. Um, it's pretty much how stiff the overall structure is. So if it's really stiff, it's not going to bend easily at all. Um, well, bend stiffness, that would kind of explain that. They're, they're both relatively similar. I'm still not 100% sure what the total difference is. Spring dampening is... Um, how much energy it takes to, to, to move and modify the cloth. Um, air dampening, how much uh, the air affects the cloth and whatnot. And then you have your presets like uh, silk, which is like really, really flimsy and it just flops around like really, really easily. And in the collisions tab we have self collisions, which are um, pretty much the, the cloth, if it like folds around the sphere, um, will collide with itself, like the corners will collide with themselves instead of like going through each other like they normally would. Um, just a quick warning, does make longer bake times. So anyway, let's deselect our cloth here and go to soft body. This is where we use our vertex group, so you click here, make sure use goal is selected, click here, that's group. So now we have our soft bodies here, um, mass, gravity, um, speed of the simulation, um, the stiffness, uh, I forget what that is because my little thingies aren't popping up, uh, dampening, to maybe increase that a bit, um, um, well why don't we bake it just to see what it looks like real quick, because I don't want to experiment too much, it's a tutorial so I'm not here to experiment, but um, I'll show you the example of the ripping, I call it, if it does it, most likely. Oh, maybe it won't. Yep, there it goes. You can see the spear poking through the cloth. Mm. Now, sometimes I'm not saying that the animation looks bad. Sometimes it can get a little thin, but like you can totally see the spears peeking through. That's why I, I can never really solve that problem. If anybody knows how to solve that, or um, know some good settings to make even like those classic jelly cubes using soft bodies. Let me know if you can make it with 2.48a. Please let me know. I'd love to know how to do that with the soft bodies. Because I know how to do it with the cloth, obviously. But I want to be able to do it the classic way, too. I, li I like to be able to do it in a couple ways. So, um, that'll conclude this tutorial. And, um, this is Blender 3D Animator signing out, guys. Later.